Welcome to this Python code snippet. In this session today, we're going to have a look at the ELIF statement. Well, let's start talking about, well, what is an ELIF statement? Well, an ELIF statement is basically a nested if then else statement. Now, we've looked at an if then else statement before, so let's start with that one very quickly. So let's get someone's age. So let's start with age is equal to, and then we're going to get the input and we're going to go enter person's age and then what we'll do is we'll actually turn this to an integer to ensure the data type is correct and that will give us their whole age like if they're 18 or etc and then if and else that we use is if age is greater than say 18 then we could actually print out that they're an adult But if they're not older than 18, and they're less than that, we can use the else statement and just print out, they are a child. Now, when we run this program, you'll notice we can enter the age of the person, let's say 20, they're an adult. Otherwise, we can enter in, say, they are five, and they are a child. But if we want to bring in another function, such as if they are a baby, we could actually say, well, if age is less than five, we could actually go print, they are a baby. But what we want to be able to do is then use the else statement to nest these. So, well, if they're not less than five, and then we can say else, if the age is greater than 18. So you notice here that there's an error is occurring because we can actually use the inbuilt function to say, well, else if the age is greater than 18. So it's like an else if. So if the age is less than five, print they're a baby. Else, if the age is greater than 18, then print they're an adult. Else, if they're not this or this, then they are a child, because they're not less than five and they're not greater than 18, so therefore they must be a child. So let's just run this. So let's start with the baby. Let's put two, they're a baby. Then we'll run the program again and put 21. They're an adult. And if we put something in between that and put 10, they are a child. If we want to introduce some more parameters, such as they're a teenager, then we need to give some more ranges. So in here, we can actually insert Elif. Their age is greater than and equal to 13. And the age is less than and equal to 17. Then we want to print out, they are a teenager. So therefore, if the age is less than five, it'll print out they are a baby. Else, if it's greater than or equal to 13 and less than or equal to 17, and this is known as a dual condition, they'll print out teenager. If it's greater than 18, and we could change that now to be greater than equal to 18, they are an adult. But if they're not that, then once again, they're still a child if they fall between the ranges of five and 13, or in this case, five and 12, because if it's equal to 13, they would be a teenager. Let's run the program now. So let's start by checking for a baby, three. That's good. Let's see if we can get a child. Let's put them as nine. Let's see if they're a teenager, 14. And let's see if they're an adult, by putting 55. So this shows you how you can actually create and making what is known as a concatenated if then else statement, where if this, then if this, then if this, by using the ELIF statement. The ELIF statement is very useful when you're doing complex decisions, when there are a lot of factors to drive the outcomes. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look around in my YouTube channel for other useful Python snippets.